Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to Next Step Espresso. We are on episode 446. There are three thought processes that are potentially, no, definitely holding you back from dropping the body fat you've always wanted and getting the results that you want and maintaining them for life. The first thought press holding you back is... I can't control myself around X food or drink. Insert them into that as you will. Whether that is chocolate, whether that is alcohol, beer, red wine, whether that is pizza, whether that is crisps, whether actually it is a combination of all of those foods. I can't control myself with X food. If you tell yourself this thought process, on the regular, then you won't be able to control yourself around these foods. In previous episodes, we've talked about your thoughts becoming your reality, and I definitely recommend you check those episodes out if you haven't already. This is a key part to remember. Your thoughts become your reality. And if you say, I can't control myself around this food, you never will be able to. So instead of saying, I can't control myself around this food. It is worthwhile to note that that might be a trigger food for you in a certain situation, but you want to start embracing the ability of having them in smaller portion sizes and giving yourself the control. I can control myself around these foods. I can portion control uh, crisps. I can just eat three bars of chocolate and put it back and save the rest for later. The more you flip the script and give yourself the positive action, the better you will be. The second thought process holding you back is I don't have the time to do why. Now I get it. Time right now is at a premium. You might be homeschooling your children. You might be working from home. You might be doing both, trying to do a side hustle potentially, or just thinking, how the heck can I balance all of life's priorities right now with shopping, cooking, looking after the kids, homeschooling, and running my household, working from home. And I totally understand the pressure and the stress that you're under right now. But if you always say, I don't have the time to do why, you'll never make the time. Even if it's going for a five minute walk, even if it's doing a 10 minute workout from home, a 10 minute yoga class or a 10 minute body weight exercise. If you can make the time in your diary and make it short and sharp, you will build the action of doing healthy exercise. You will get yourself out for that walk. You will do that workout because you will prioritize the time and the rest of the things that you do in the day will fit the rest of your schedule. If you block out your time for certain actions, the work, everything else you do will fit into a smaller block and you will be able to get it done. We always take the amount of time for a task that we are given. Think about the last time you had an exam or an essay or anything formal that you had to hand in. You probably waited until the last moment to get it done because it fit that length of time. But if you gave yourself a deadline, you'd be able to get it done. Think about your exercise the same way or even your food preparation, your shopping. Rather than I don't have the time, think how can I make the time even if it's just five minutes. And then the third thought process holding you back, ladies and gents, is I will always be Z weight. I will always be this weight. I will always be this shape. Your past, your present doesn't have to be your future. You don't have to be the bigger guy. You don't have to be the bigger girl. If you want to be, that's fine. And there are instances where losing body fat won't be the healthiest thing for you to do. But right now I'm talking to those of you out there who know that you are bigger and you want to make a change. Because if you don't want to make a change, I don't know why you're watching this or listening to this podcast, but if you do, that doesn't have to be your future. When I think to myself, oh man, you know, I'll I'll always be uh, a chubby guy. I'll always be unable to control myself around uh, this food. I'll always make excuses and overeat. And the only way that I'll control myself is if I track my calories and if I do strict exercise. If I told myself that reality, that would be what would happen. 
and this isn't woo woo this isn't uh, crazy shit that I'm talking about right now this is literally just thought patterns becoming your reality so rather than thinking I'll always be this weight I'll always be this shape yes your genetics will have a factor playing the the shape you know I'm a broad guy I'm a wide guy I've got wide shoulders my dad was short and stocky I clearly get it from him my granddad was a blacksmith I clearly get it from him but the amount of body fat that I store is down to me right? I can control the amount of food I do. I can control the amount of activity I put in and I can control myself around food. I just need to tell myself that I can and you do too. Thank you guys, as always, for listening to Next Step Espresso. If you have found this useful, please like this video if you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe to the podcast if you're listening to it and share it around, share it with people who you think might find it useful. And if you're fed up, of food confusion, fad diets, and the other bullshit in the industry holding you back, check out the free resources that we have in the show notes of this episode. And we would love to welcome you to the Next Step Nutrition family, where we keep food and exercise simple.